If you have a golf ball size consciousness, when you read a book, you'll have a golf ball size understanding. When you look out, a golf ball size awareness. And when you wake up in the morning, a golf ball size wakefulness. But if you could expand that consciousness, then you read the book, more understanding. You look out, more awareness. And when you wake up, more wakefulness. It's consciousness. And there's an ocean of pure, vibrant consciousness inside each one of us. And it's right at the source and base of mind right at the source of thought, and it's also at the source of all matter. This pure consciousness is called by modern physics, the unified field. It's at the base of all mind and all matter. And they now say, modern science says, all of matter, everything that is a thing emerges from this field. And this field has qualities like bliss, intelligence, creativity, universal love, energy, peace. The source of thought, the source of mind, the source of matter, all ideas come from this field. The field of pure consciousness is at the base. When you experience it, you enliven it, you unfold it, and it starts to grow. Consciousness grows. So beautiful. And the re end result of that growth of consciousness is enlightenment, which is the full potential of the human being. we share with a free sentient being a non-local consciousness. Consciousness is the same for all of us. It's a cosmic consciousness. This cosmic nature of consciousness implies that I should, not only should, I have an imperative to be good to my fellow sentient beings because we are one. We are one. We really are one. You and I are not separate ultimately. What is consciousness? What is consciousness? What is consciousness? Where does it come from? Where does it come from? Life is fundamentally one. At the basis of all life's diversity, there is unity. At our basis, you and I are one. And that unity, at the basis of mind and matter, is consciousness, universal consciousness. So with that deep understanding that consciousness isn't created by the brain, it's not purely an outcome of molecular 
chemical processes in the brain, but is fundamental in nature. It's the very core of nature. We call it the unified field. At the core, the basis of the universe, the foundation of the universe, is a single universal field of intelligence, a field which unites gravity with electromagnetism, light, with radioactivity, with the nuclear force, so that all the forces of nature and all the so-called particles of nature, quarks, leptons, protons, neutrons, are now understood to be one. They're all just different ripples on a single ocean of existence, a single universal field of intelligence, an ocean of existence at the basis of everything, mind and matter. And all the so-called particles of the universe, the forces in our universe, everything in the universe, are just ripples of on that ocean of existence. That's the unified field. And that field is a non-material field. It is ultimately the field of consciousness. The field of consciousness. The deeper you go in the structure of natural law, the deeper you go, the less material, the less inert, the less dead the universe is, the more alive, the more conscious the universe becomes. Then when you get to the foundation of the universe, the unified field or super strength field, it's simply a field of pure being, pure intelligence. Intelligence because it's the fountainhead of all the laws of nature, all the fundamental forces, all the fundamental particles, all the laws governing life at every level of the universe have their unified source in the unified field. That makes the unified field the most concentrated field of intelligence in nature. Non-material, non-material, dynamic, dynamic, self-aware, self-aware, intelligence. Those are the properties of the unified field. And that field is not is a non-material field. It is ultimately the field of consciousness. At that fundamental level, we are all one. The unified field, oneness, unity, oneness and unity. It's so beautiful. You know, poop production.